dear students i welcome you to all of you in this lecture i am abhijit hire from department of english sikiti college today we will discuss barriers to communication but before that we must discuss what is communication basics that is the word communication is derived from the latin word communicare which means to make it common communication involves the transfer of information ideas emotions etc amongst the people look at the slide uh, it is process of communication which involves a sender a receiver a sender sends the message through a channel which is a medium to the receiver the receiver decodes the message and gives the feedback to the sender when the receiver gives the feedback to the sender the communication process completes now look at what is a barrier ba what is a barrier barrier and obstacle impediment let me show you uh, an image which will let which will inform you more about what is a barrier you might have seen the images on the roads pavements where police barricades has uh, police has used barricades which uh, which has been used to stop people stopping people from moving ahead is called barrier obstacle that's why i have used both the images to make it so simple for you people what is a barrier now let's discuss the introduction of the topic one of the main problems in the business communication is the barriers to communication it may arise any time during the communication process it occurs due to any of the components of communication as we have discussed there is a sender receiver medium and the environment let me elaborate uh, here are the different types of barriers barriers to communication first that is physical semantic sociological psychological cross cultural and organizational barriers in this lecture we will discuss only physical and en physical or environmental barriers physical barriers they are noise defects in communication system time and distance wrong selection of medium and temperature and humidity dear students physical barriers or environmental barriers we can say it is an environmental barrier so that's why from the very first point we will discuss what is now noise and how it will become an obstacle in the process of communication noise is the factor that confuses disturb diminishes or interferes with the communication let me tell you an example look at the photo you might have come across with such a situation in the cafeteria where you will experience lot of noise and the normal communication will not be will not happen in such a situation so also noise can originate with the sender transmission and the receiver with the sender if he is using any uh, faulty medium so the noise will definitely create a problem to to send them a message to the receiver our next next point that is defects in communication system communication system make entails the uh, we can say internet or postal address as well communication gets affected due to the defect in the communication system as we come to know that postal address or internet or any other medium where you find the defect uh, if your internet is not working properly definitely you will not you will not uh, communicate with so called people and if you have made a mistake while writing down the postal address of your so called office the letter will be delivered somewhere else that's why the defects in communication system might create obstacles for example defective encoding due to ambiguous words transmission interpret interruption due to electrical discharges defective decoding due to wrong meaning may be attached to symbols or words disturbance or noise in the environment such as noise of machines in a factory traffic noise etc may hinder the development of clear thought or listening of the message 
and the next point that is time and distance before going further i would like to add something defective encoding due to ambiguous words uh, i would like to give an example for that if you use any ambiguous words in your so uh, letter definitely the receiver will not be able to understand the meaning he will not or she will not interpret the letter properly and the communication will not happen transmission interruption due to electrical discharges which means it may hinder electrical discharges may hinder the tv and other uh, communication devices which will ultimately again interrupt or op become an obstacle in the communication system our next point that is time and distance two different persons working in two different shifts or places telephone facility or other mediums are not available to them to communicate with each other what does it mean two different persons working in two different shifts in the multinational corporations when two people are working on different shifts suppose day and night they will not be able to communicate whenever they will be in the uh, so called institutions or places if they are working on different places different branches of the so called mnc definitely they will not be uh, communicate with each other telephone facility or other mediums are not available to them if if telephone facility or other mediums are not available to them to communicate with each other then there will be a barrier uh, for their communication again the next we can say the topic next title that is wrong selection of medium wrong selection of medium by the sender may create barrier for the receiver to understand or decode the information and a literate person if a literate person uh, gives a letter to an illiterate person who doesn't know any any language or how to write or how to read he will not be able to understand what the re, uh, so called literate person is saying so it might create the wrong medium if if the a remote rural village has a problem uh, for connectivity network connectivity then uh, you cannot conduct online lectures online classes in such a situation definitely choosing online uh, we can say medium for lecture delivering will be a problem so that's why wrong selection of medium so for choosing and if for choosing uh, effective communication you need to choose a correct appropriate medium through which you can effectively communicate with your so called persons next that is temperature and humidity a high temperature and humidity can cause environmental stress on the part of both the sender and the receiver of the message for example in the lecture offline lectures when the teach when the, there is no electricity in a place called mumbai here definitely teacher and students both feel stress since the humidity and temperature so both of them cannot communicate properly and the message may not be delivered so effectively that's why temperature and humidity becomes an obstacle in the process of communication as we have as we have been discussing the physical and environmental barriers thank you so much